Before men, men had two options when it came to hair color. Women's salon hair color or drugstore product where they can do it at home. Let's take a look at men and drugstore hair color purchases. Currently, it's a $180 million market growing at 12% a year. It is, for the most part, owned by the folks that make Just For Men and Grecian Formula. Neither one of these products are professionally applied. Neither one of these products enable intermixing for customizing formulation. It's a problem. Let's take a look at what, this, what happens with a guy who purchases a box of Just For Men. Imagine he walks into a drugstore on a Saturday, goes into the aisle, picks out a shade. Now, what shade do you think is the best-selling shade of Just For Men? You guessed it, medium brown. Now, you and I both know that not every guy out there is a medium brown. They go home with this single box of Just For Men product. There they are, sitting in the bathroom, waiting to apply hair color for the first time in their life because they have gray hair, they just don't have a solution for it. And their best solution, as far as they can tell until men, was just for men. He opens up this box, he unfolds this massive piece of instructions, and attached to the instructions are two O.J. Simpson style gloves. I don't think they fit any guy's hand that I've seen. Now, there he is, gloves in hand. He's going to read through this massive sheet of instructions. The first thing he's going to read is, caution, keep off the skin, don't do this, don't do that. Immediately he realizes that this really is not as simple as he thought it was going to be. How many guys out there do you think actually read through all the instructions? The first piece of instructions, it says, find an old t-shirt. So he runs back out of the bathroom, puts on an old t-shirt, and he's going to mix up product A with product B, and he's going to start applying hair color. And he starts applying it, and he puts a little bit across the top, and he puts a little bit across the sides, and he's got a little smudge here, so he tries to take it off a little bit, and he realizes that hair color does stain the skin if it's not applied neatly. Now, after he finishes applying the product for a few minutes, it's starting to go dark. He's getting concerned about that. Now, what did he forget? The back of his head. Guys don't know that they have a back to their head. Women know this. Women are experts at it. Guys do not know this. He's covered the front of his head, he thinks it looks pretty good. He's concerned about how dark it is. So what does he need to do? Now he needs to rinse it off. He's not going to rinse it out in the sink. It's too small. So he's going to hop in the shower. So he tears off his t-shirt. You and I both know that when you apply hair color to anything, be it material or hair color, it applies color. So he's ruined his t-shirt. So he has ruined t-shirt. He spent $6.89 on Just For Men hair color. And now he's hopped in the shower. Turns on the water. There he is, about to rinse off his hair color. He gets hair color rinsing down the front of his body and down the back of his body. He's fully colored. It's pretty ridiculous. So the hair color is splashing all over the place. It's rinsing off his body. And he's kind of cleaning it off the inside shower stall. And about five minutes later, he thinks he's pretty much done. So he turns off the shower. He hops out of the shower stall. And he grabs a towel. And he dries his hair. He probably ruined the towel. Now he goes back downstairs and he tries to go about his life. Now, Soon, his wife is going to come back with the kids from soccer practice. Did the kids notice? No, they're busy doing whatever they needed to do. Did his wife notice? No, she hasn't noticed yet because she's busy trying to do what she needed to do that day. When does he find out if he did a good job? Monday morning. He goes to the office. Friday, he left old Bob. But on Monday, he showed up, and there's Bob. And clearly, Bob had a pretty interesting weekend. Bob colored his hair that weekend. And there's no way that the people in the office didn't notice. And my guess is, by lunchtime, people are saying, geez, Bob, nice hair color. Now, was that the kind of experience he was going for? Not at all. It goes from bad to worse. Reason being is, when the product regresses over the next couple of weeks, when Bob washes his hair, what happens? It starts to fade out. But it fades out warm. So everybody knows that Bob has been coloring his hair. This is not what Bob was going for. All Bob wanted to do was get rid of his gray. The other option that guys have, besides the drugstore, is they could get it done in a salon. Women's salon hair color was formulated to deliver bright, vibrant tonality. Women want warmth. Women want vibrancy. Men don't. Men are seeking a cool, natural tone, quite a bit different than what the women are seeking. So if you're a colorist and you understand color, what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and counteract what the product was originally designed for and formulate an ash series or try and tone out that warmth. The challenge with that is 
you're trying to reformulate what was developed in a lab to do something totally different than what it's designed for. It was designed for women. It was not designed for use on guys. So obviously the result that women are seeking is different. It's no different than designing something and setting a specific target and then shifting the target and wondering why you're not hitting it. It wasn't made for that. With men, we started from scratch. I started with a blank sheet of paper. I said, what are all the challenges that guys have with hair color and how do we build a product that has the performance characteristics that will deliver an effective solution to men's gray hair problem? It can't fade off tone. It needs to happen so fast because ideally it never happened. I want 100% gray coverage in three to five minutes. The product needs to be durable and last four to six weeks until his next haircut. Min is formulated to do just that. It has cool natural tonality. It's a simple product line to use. You mix up half an ounce of Min color with half an ounce of iMix processor. You mix these two items in a one-to-one -one ratio and you process for three to five minutes. It's an amazing new product. It allows us to completely cover the gray or just blend it in gradually. So no one's noticed that you've tinted your hair at the salon. It's a quick application. There's no sectioning. There's no muss. After you get your hair cut, the client's brought back to the sink. It's applied. It's done to your next haircut. You do the haircut first. You walk the client back to the shampoo bowl. You mix up a half an ounce of color with a half an ounce of processor. It's a very easy mixing system. It's equal parts, tint, and processor. I've chosen 8C, slightly lighter than his natural shade. Um, you never have to worry about lightening. The product will not lighten the client's hair. It will only deposit color. Being that it's a demi-permanent color, you're not left with a line of demarcation after three or four weeks, which is something else that the client is really concerned with when, when they come in and ask about men's hair coloring. It comes with a very easy color match swatch book. All you need to do is, is match the swatch to the client's hair and formulate. There are, there's only a cool tone and a warm tone. You do a quick, neat application using a bowl and brush, or a wide tooth comb going back to front. Now where you put it is where it's going to cover. So if you're going for blending and you want to have some gray show at the end, you need to apply like you're blending. Leave that out, otherwise it'll cover it. The goal is to make him look natural. It's to make him look like him, only better. Now when you think about it, how do guys shampoo their hair? Do they know that it's a delicate fiber? Not at all. They think they're cleaning carpet. So they scrub the daylights out of it. They really clean it. Now, what do you think that does to the color? More times than not, it really starts to pull it out. The benefit of Min isn't just the fact that it looks great the first day that you apply it. It's that it still looks great three or four weeks later. Now, we designed this product to last until his next haircut. So when he comes back in, he should be a double service. He comes back in, you cut him again, and then you apply Min again. The benefit of Min is that Min is a double service without double booking. It's a natural translucent result so that nobody says, geez, Bob, nice hair color. They say, wow, did you lose five pounds? Is that a new tie? You look great. What did you do? Are you going to the gym? The answer is no. He's not going to the gym. He got rid of 20% of his gray, thanks to you. Min contains no ammonia and will impart no line of demarcation, unlike a permanent hair color. Min is a true demi-permanent hair color, meaning it is just as permanent as a permanent hair color without any lifting. So there isn't that line. It's more durable than a semi-permanent. Semis only last two to three weeks. The benefits of a demi is that it's more durable than a semi and more durable than a temporary. It has all the benefits of a permanent without any lifting. So it stays natural. And when it fades out over four to six weeks, his natural pigment hasn't been altered. So it still looks like him. Now let's look at what drove the hair color boom in America. Baby boomer females went gray and they wanted to cover it. They started to look old, 
They wanted to cover that gray so that they felt great about themselves, and the way they felt on the inside matched how they looked on the outside. But it started with a very specific pragmatic need, which was the female baby boomer was going gray, and she wanted to fix it. The salon industry has boomed because of that. The exact same challenge is happening with guys. Baby boomer males, 35 million of them, are going gray, and they're trying to fix it. Now, what were their options again? Drugstore hair color or women's salon hair color. Now, we've just gone over the challenges with both of those products, so they still haven't found a solution, and that's exactly where this opportunity lies, and that's exactly why I develop men. I develop men so that it delivers the performance characteristics that these guys are seeking, combined with the stylist, and this partnership is how we deliver this solution. We believe that 50% of a great men's service comes down to product performance. That's only half the battle. The other 50% comes down to you, stylist application. When you combine great product performance with great stylist application and presentation to the client, you have yourself a great service and you have a happy client. You finally delivered him a solution. Who is your potential min man? Think about it for a minute. Is it the guy with 100% gray? The guy with 5% gray? The answer is both of them and everybody in between. Guys that have just a small percentage of gray, believe it or not, if you talk to them about it and you say, hey, I notice you have some gray, what are you doing about that? Have you ever thought about fixing that? Do you know I have a solution for that? They'll say, oh, well, um, geez, I don't know. Well, what are you talking about? Then you can begin discussing with them the benefits of men and how quickly you can solve their problem. Do you also know that a lot of guys, if you ask them, they're plucking them out until they're just too many. One of their biggest concerns besides going gray is losing their hair, yet they're willing to pluck their hair in order to have it not be gray. That's how powerful this is. And if you tap into that with your existing customers and you provide them an effective solution, they're going to thank you for it and they're going to come back because you've actually delivered them something that they can't do themselves. Now let's take a guy with 10% gray. You can either give him 100% coverage or blending and leave a little bit. It all comes down to application. You present to him the solution. You explain to him the benefits of gray blending versus gray coverage. You tell him how you're going to apply the product, and then you say, okay, now how much gray do you want to lose? It's your job to present to him a professional solution so that it works naturally with him in the rest of his life. If he has 40% gray hair, don't bring him back to zero in the first appointment. Walk him through three or four appointments, reducing 10 or 15% of that gray each time. It's a stepped process, so it's more natural. You want them to keep coming back in for more and more services. It makes sense for both the customer and it makes sense for you as a stylist. Besides just delivering him great coverage, it's delivering him great, great coverage so that it works perfectly with the rest of his life. So he can go back into his life and everyone says, wow, you look great. You look like you've been sleeping well. It looks like everything's going great with your job. My guess is you're going to the gym. What'd you do? And nobody knows but you.